Today we are going to discuss another important chapter in partnership. Partnership accounts basic or fundamentals. This is the first chapter we have to discuss in a partnership accounting. Here we are studying what is the meaning of the partnership and what are the features of the partnership business. What do you mean by a partnership deed? What are the points or the contents included in the partnership deed? Then profit sharing ratio of the partners. How to prepare profit and loss appropriation account. And in partnership business, how we are preparing the capital accounts of the partners. And if some adjustments or some rectifications are required in a partnership, that is known as past adjustments. And guaranteed profit, how we are doing the accounting for the guaranteed profit of the partners. These are the important points we are discussing in this chapter. Firstly, we can understand what is the meaning of the partnership. We know that in India, Partnership Act is passed in the year 1932. According to the Partnership Act 1932, defines a partnership business as the relation between persons who have agreed to share the profit or loss of the business and the business is carried on by all. So while checking the definition, we can see three points are there. Partnership is the relation between persons. That means in order to start a partnership business, minimum number of persons required is two. And the business is carried on by all the partners or any one of the partner is acting for all. Here we are discussing the profit sharing ratio of the partners. The definition includes three points. The persons who are individually included in the partnership business, we can call as partners. And collectively we are calling a firm. So partnership business is one of the most important type of business nowadays. And what will be the accounting treatment of the partnership? And how an organization is preparing a partnership deed. And what are the important features of the partnership business. While analyzing the definition of the partnership. And in detail we are going. We can see some important features of the partnership business. Number one. Two or more persons are required. In order to start a partnership business. This is the basic or the first feature of a partnership business. In order to start a partnership business, at least or the minimum people required is two. But the maximum number prescribed by the company site is 50. To start a partnership business, we need an agreement. Agreement here means agreement between the partners. If there is no agreement, what will happen? The conflict between the partners will be there. In order to avoid this problem, all the partnership business is preparing some documentation. We can call as legal documents. These legal documents in partnership, we are calling as partnership deed. Partnership deed is a document which is containing the terms and the conditions of the partnership business. Terms and the conditions that here means what is the name of the partnership business, nature of the business, who are the partners, what is the capital contribution of each and every partner, interest on capital or interest on drawings, profit sharing ratio, and audit the books of account of the firm, so etc. etc. These are the important features of the partnership deed. When a partnership firm is preparing a partnership deed, it should include these important points. So while checking the partnership deed, we can we get a clear picture about the partnership. Clear picture here means what? 
the details or the nature the persons who are involved a probability sharing ratio all the terms and the conditions we can see in the partnership data so next one is lawful business anyway we are started a partnership business for what to doing some kind of activities to doing some kind of business so the partnership is formed for doing lawful business in order to start a, a partnership business the business activities should be production of purchase and sale of goods and services or sometimes you are purchasing some goods and reselling so many things will be there so anyway the agreement should be clear and the terms and the conditions should be clear and the business should be lawful and legal and the profit sharing ratio another most important factor of the partnership business is the profit sharing ratio between the partners profit is one of the most important factor in a partnership business if there is a profit how they will share the profit so it is decided in advance that we can say pre determined the profit sharing ratio is there sometimes they not a proper agreements regarding the profit sharing that means absence of an agreement is there at that time the profit is shared equally the next one is the business is carried on by all or any one of the partner is acting for all the business is carried on by all that means business is managed by all the partners sometimes any one of the partner we are giving interest or we are uh, you are giving authority to manage the business so we, the business can be managed by all the partners or any one of the partner we can nominate to manage the business that also possible these are the important features of the partnership business now we understand what do you mean by a partnership business who are the partners and how we are calling as a firm and what are the important features of the partnership business what do you mean by partnership deed partnership deed is the rules or the terms and the conditions of the partnership business what are the contents or the important points to be included whenever you are preparing a partnership deed so these are the basic information in with regards to the partnership business next we can discuss what are the various adjustments in the partnership business in relation to the fundamental points first point we can discuss interest on loan by the partner to the firm sometimes partners are providing some interest loan to the partnership firm so surely we have to provide interest on loan to the partners if there is clearly agreement is there that means there is a written agreement between the partners in the partnership business is there we can provide the interest on loan based on that agreement sometimes their agreement is silent at that time as per the partnership rule 6 percentage interest on loan can be provided to the partners because the amount is provided by the partners so the agreement between the partners and the partnership business is that we are providing a fixed rate of interest as agreed sometimes there is no agreement between the partners absence of agreement is there at that time we can provide 6 percentage interest on loan so what is the accounting treatment for that type of interest on loan we are providing to the partners firstly interest on loan what is entry interest on loan account debtor to loan by the partner it is an expense this is the liability second interest on loan is an expense to the partnership business therefore this expense we have to transfer to the profit and loss account so the entry is profit and loss account debtor to interest on loan so two entries we have to pass interest on loan by the partner to the firm that means the partners are providing loan to the organization at that time the organization will provide interest on loan two entries are there one is to provide the entry for interest on loan and closing the interest on loan to the pnl account next adjustment is interest on loan by the firm to the partners sometimes the partnership firm is providing some loan to the partners if the agreement clearly permits that a fixed rate of interest is charging 
we can charge fixed rate of interest from the partners for the loan amount. Sometimes they are agreed that we are not charging any interest for that loan. So we cannot charge interest for that. That is based on the agreement between the firm and the partners. Normally, most of the partnership organizations are providing some kind of loan for the partners. And if they are agreed, we are charging some kind of interest from them. That will be 5% or 10%. That is an agreed rate will be there. Then what is the accounting treatment for the interest on loan? Suppose the organization is providing loan to the partners. First one is for charging interest on loan. The partnership firm is providing loan to the partners and they are charging interest from them. So this is an income of the partnership business. Therefore, income is credited. Partners capital account debted to interest on loan. Partners capital account debted to interest on loan. Finally, this is an income of the partnership business. It can be closed to the profit and loss account. Interest on loan account debted to profit and loss account. These two entries are required in the case of the interest on loan by the firm to a partner. Here charging of interest on loan. Second one is transfer of interest on loan to the profit and loss account for the purpose of closing. Another adjustment is rent paid or payable to the partners. Sometimes an organization or a partnership firm may take a personal property of the partners for doing the business activities. So there is a clear indication that we are using the property of the partners for the business purpose. So we have to provide rent for that property. So the rent is an expense for the partnership business. So we can use the property of the partner, the personal property of the partner. Whenever you are using the personal property of the partner for your partnership activities, normally we have to provide rent for that particular business. So here rent is charge against profit because whenever you are preparing the profit and loss account. You are getting the profitability of a partnership firm. So rent can be charged as an expense of a business. So this is charge against a profit. And because rent is payable to a partner for what? For using the proper personal property of the partner. Here our point is rent is an expense to the partnership firm because we are using the property of the partner. Firstly, rent can be paid in cash or in check. Rent account debted to cash or bank. We are providing the rent. Sometimes we will not pay the rent. Rent will be payable in future only. Known as rent payable. Rent account debted to rent payable. That means after some time we can settle this amount. Rent is an expense. Therefore, it is a transferred to the profit and loss account of the partnership business. Profit and loss account debited to rent. Whenever you are preparing the profit and loss account, all expenses will be debit and incomes are credited here. So the rent is an expense. So it should be debited. So three entries are required in the case of the rent. Number one, rent paid cash or bank. Number two, when rent is payable, that means it's not settled immediately, maybe future only we will settle. Third point is when rent is transferred to the profit and loss account of the business because rent is an expense of the organization. So it should be transferred to the profit and loss account of the partnership business. Next adjustment is manager's commission. A partnership business managers are the employees of the organization. Managers is an employee of the firm. So we have to provide a commission sometimes based on the profit of the organization. Suppose a partnership firm sometimes taking a partner on the agreement that we will give a fixed 
റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് കമ്മീഷൻ ടു ദാറ്റ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പാർണർ സോ ദിസ് കമ്മീഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി ട്രീറ്റഡ് ആസ് ചാർജ് എഗൻസ്റ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വി ക്യാൻ ബുക്ക് ദീസ് ഐറ്റം ആസ് എൻ എക്സ്പെൻസ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് ചാർജ് എഗൻസ്റ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വി ക്യാൻ ചാർജ് ആസ് എൻ എക്സ്പെൻസ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് സോ മാനേജർ ഈസ് എൻ എംപ്ലോയി ഓഫ് ദ ഫോൺ it is a charge against the profit and we have to transfer it to the profit and loss account next important adjustment is profit and loss appropriation account a partnership business or a sole trader or a company the financial statement include trading profit and loss account and a balance sheet trading account is providing the trading result of the business trading result means what the result in buying and selling of goods and services after the preparation of the trading account we are going to prepare profit and loss account to know the profitability of an organization profitability means all expenses we can say indirect expenses and we are booking some incomes income minus expense it will be the net profit of the organization we will book all the expenses and all the incomes after realizing the net profit of the organization partnership business is preparing one more account after the pnl account that account we can call as profit and loss appropriation account profit and loss appropriation account is an extension of the profit and loss account an extension of the profit and loss account this account is started with the net profit or net loss from the profit and loss account that one we already prepared so why this account is prepared a profit and loss appropriation account is prepared to know how the net profit is utilized or appropriated by a partnership firm this is an extension of the profit and loss account and this account is prepared to know how the net profit is distributed among the partners and how an organization is distributing their net profit they can pay interest on capital to the partners salary bonus commission or if they want to keep any reserve they can do that too the balance of the profit and loss appropriation account can be transferred to the partners capital account because the amount profit or loss if it is a profit that amount they will get it if the loss is coming they have to sacrifice so both will be shared according to the profit sharing ratio so profit and loss appropriation account is credited with the net profit starting is net profit if it is a loss starting from debit then interest on drawings is an income of the business therefore it is credited all expenses interest on capital partner salaries partner commission reserve all appropriation items are debited here and the balance is known as profit transferred to the partner's capital account based on the profit sharing ratio so all the partnership organizations are preparing profit and loss appropriation account while preparing the profit and loss appropriation account they are getting a clear picture exact picture about the uh, net profit distribution therefore the balance is transferred to the after the balance that means we are paying salary and commission whatever may be they are paying after anything is left there they can transfer to where partners capital account because partners are the real owners of the organization so the profit or loss should be suffered by the partners thank you